and I'm gonna make sure that everybody's muted. Please chime in when you, uh, at the end, and we'll go from there. Hey guys, this is uh, Sadie Hody. We are talking about our brand new, uh, what we're doing for our uh, team-wide training. Uh, tonight is the preview night of how we're all gonna get started and ready to do that. So what I've asked for everybody to do is either um, go through the Rank Up Roadmap to Silver, or uh, we're gonna be going through that a little bit now, and then I'm asking everybody who's on the call and who's listening, um, and I'll be posting this as soon as we're done, um, to commit to doing this before our tomorrow night call. Okay, so we're getting ready and we're getting squared away for how we're going to be the leaders that we want to be in 2018. And tomorrow we're gonna talk about our team vision call um, and we're, we're getting ready for that. And I just wanna say that tomorrow's uh, calls are offered at eight and nine. I'm probably gonna have some uh, little friends here with me. They're gonna be staying up late. They don't even know it uh, because I want to offer those time slots to everybody because it's super critical for me to make sure that as many people that want to be on these calls can from a logistics standpoint. Okay, so we're gonna dive in tonight. Here's the idea behind the call, okay? Um, the vision for 2018 in our team is to make a duplicatable process that is so ingrained into us that it is so easy to roll this off of our tongues and it's also something that we practice in our own businesses, okay? What I'm about to tell you about tonight is something that I want you to take to current team members that want to go silver. I don't know if you saw me ask on the team page, who wants to go silver, okay? We're going to be talking to those people about doing this. We're also gonna be in, um, incorporating some of this for ourselves. I went through this training today and I loved it. And what I wanna tell you is, if we want to create a duplicatable process, we have to be a part of that process. Okay, we cannot ask anybody to do what we are not doing. And I sat at a table with Sarah and Jody, and it was a really nice meeting for me because we all kind of called each other out. Okay, you're not you're not above being called out no matter what your rank you are. Okay, so if you're just you're not just if you're an ambassador starting out and you're listening to this, or you're an Emerald ambassador, it doesn't matter. We call ourselves to the table and we try to make ourselves better. So that's what I'm excited about. Okay. So tonight, um, the only thing we're talking about tonight is we're going through the Rank Up Roadmap to Silver, which is going to be so a part of your everyday process, leaders that are listening to this, that you're gonna know it like the back of your hand because you're going to be asking people to do it. You're gonna be walking with them through it. You're also gonna be doing it yourself because this is a very easy process. And it is a, it is a tool that is offered by our company that I want our team to mirror, okay? What I love about um, the, the company is that they are putting forth a training. They're doing a great job, but what do we add as leaders to that training is our own sparkle, our own depth of knowledge, our own um, perspective, right? So we're adding something for our team members. We're not just doing some black and white checklist. That's not what we're doing. We're using this as a guideline to where we are going to be able to walk people down a process, a very, very easy process, right? We're, we're, we're taking them down the path of something that they can do for themselves, but they can also train, okay? A lot of what I feel like is the problem sometimes is that people have a very strong leader, right? I have a problem, right? Hashtag, you know, real world problems of having really strong leaders on my team. And there are new people that come in and they look at you guys and they think I could never do what so-and-so does because they are so strong. And that's not what we want. We don't want anyone to feel that they can't do this because they can't. And I think that when we create a process and we lean on that process and we are so ingrained in the process, all of us are doing the exact same process. People feel capable, they know what to expect, and they also feel available to help others with the training because they've succeeded themselves. So I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. We're gonna rock through this uh, rank up uh, roadmap to silver. We're also gonna talk about how to do a welcome call, okay? Welcome calls are gonna be very a part of what we're gonna talk about tomorrow, so I wanna give you guys a guideline on welcome calls. 
Okay, so when we go into the rank up roadmap, obviously what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into we're gonna we're gonna be educating that we're going into our back office, we're gonna go into training, and there is a tab for rank up roadmap. What could be easier? Okay, click on it, then we pick silver. Silver is the first one that obviously anybody's gonna be doing. Um, you will be, just so you guys know, you are sort of opened into the floodgate of these, depending on what your rank is. So if you've achieved silver, uh, senior gold, you're gonna have silver, gold, senior gold available to you, all the way up. If you're a diamond, you got them all. Okay, what I'm, you see what I'm saying? So um, they will be available to you as, um, as uh, you you know go through those go through those uh, ranks. However, um, they will have the graphic of each of them on there. So you're just gonna say you're gonna click on Silver Ambassador. This is super easy, and you're gonna play the video. Okay. So there's a welcome video by Jen Hawkins. Something that you can note to these people. Make this note. You are in her direct downline. Okay. This is the uh, this is the second ambassador to ever be a double diamond in Plexus, you're in her direct downline, okay? First ambassador to ever be a double diamond, we're also in her downline. Super blessed by this amazing leadership. These are things that you can tell people. Not everyone is gonna care about it, but for the people who do, we don't wanna not say that. Okay, so um, Jen in the, in the um, Rank Up Roadmap is gonna talk about there are two paces, right? So they're gonna pick their pace. Um, so they can pick their pace, they can dip their toe in, or they can learn more and do more. Okay, so they're going to be able to, to pick that. Um, she's going to encourage them to start today, to lean on their upline, to invite their friends and family. Guys, this is everything that we do, and that's why I love this company. We're all saying the same things. They're getting it from different avenues. Okay, so at the end of the video, there is the compensation plan chart that's going to be super amazing for your reds, right? For your people who care about money, who started for the business, who need that financial. Um, make a note when you're talking to your folks and, and know this. Um, something I love about Shelly Everwine, what she does, she makes little note cards about all her people. And I'm going to adopt this and pretend like it was my own idea. Shelly's not, her camera's not on, so she doesn't see my face. Um, but I love this idea, and I was thinking about how, there she is, hi baby. I think, that, I think that that is a great thing, especially as we get more intentional about our leadership. We're making these physical notes, and guys, you can do this electronically. I'm not asking you to, to wanna borrow. I'm more online with Shelly with those note cards. Uh, but if you're an electronic person, making those notes, what motivates them? Different conversations that you have. Guys, we're relationship marketing. We've got to get, we've got to get better at our game. And I'm saying this to me too, right? I got to get better at my game. I had a hard dose of reality uh, doing this rank up roadmap and thinking about how to take myself to the next level. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm excited for everybody to do it. So at the end of the video, there's a compensation plan chart. You know, again, when you're talking to people, when you're onboarding them, anything that they mention, uh, little little snippets, not a bad idea to note them. Okay, we're moving fast. If you're a high recruiter, okay, um, that is a skill set for many uh, on our team, and it's amazing. If you're a high recruiter, we miss some of those details. We're rolling through, right? And what I think is great is that we if we take a couple more steps. It's going to get more intentional. It's going to get easier for us. We're working smarter, not harder. So anyways, I love that. But at the end of the video, there's the compensation plan chart. Um, if you've got a red that you know is a red, shout it out to them before you say, hey, you're going to see this. I want you to take make a special note of that compensation plan chart because I know that this will resonate with something that we've talked about. Anything that you can do to tie people back to conversations you previously had is fantastic. Okay, so... Um, Obviously, so um, for me, I had to kind of click to the side of that box to kind of remove that box down, that, that initial box. And then that's gonna reveal um, some training and some resource areas, okay? I'm gonna walk you through several of these so that you know what they're going to be going through. Um, but as you, now this really aligns with people who love to do the check off the box, kind of a, a mentality, cross off the list mentality. As they finish a, um, an area of training, they have the opportunity to click the box, okay? 
So in resources area, they're gonna be talking about time management, which I think is freaking amazing. Um, there was one area in the resources that I thought was gonna be super critical to obviously going silver. But what I loved was that it is, um, me, it's called me plus three. And it's, um, you know, how to build a solid business foundation. And guys, we probably have said this to people as they are starting to build their business, okay? We're gonna learn tomorrow that we're not waiting for them to decide they're gonna be a business builder. We're gonna do this a little bit differently, but I'm just telling you, um, what I loved about it was it came with numbers and facts about what it looks like for them in the numbers on how to build that solid business foundation. So there's a path to rank up, right? Those three folks that they're gonna to get to join as ambassadors. And then there's the path to a balanced business, which are those three ambassadors and some customers, okay? And it lines out for them exactly what that looks like, guys, okay? Great for your reds, great for your people who have any kind of um, financial constraints, okay? Because we become a red when we need it. Okay, so think about that too, right? We can, we can use their motivation to help others, but there are a lot of people that are going to start to share because they financially need to get their products paid for. So keep that in mind. Okay, the other thing is that they're going to do the color test in this resources area. How many times have we freaking wondered what our new people, what their color is, right? I wonder what they are. I wonder what they are. So they're going to do that in this resources area. Connect with them about it hey, you're going to take a color test. Like, I can't wait to see what you say. I, I think you're this. Tell me what you are. It's a, it's a connecting point back with them. So guys, as leaders, I just want to make it clear that you are going to go through this training now, soon, tomorrow, whatever it is, so that you know what they're going to be going through and you're going to just be the coach holding their hand you know what to expect with the training you've seen it so many times that this is back you know this is just like the back of your hand so when that was the resources area when they entered the training area there is you know a what if this could change everything video it's a vi vision casting um there's a virtual office training which we love right Okay, I loved it. I was like, okay, well, I need this, and I'm like not a silver ambassador, going to be a silver ambassador. Like, you know, this is good for everybody, and that's why I think it's so amazing. We need to really lean on the training that the, t the, the company is supplying us. Okay, so then in training, it's asking us to put pen to paper. This is where it gets good. This is where we're asking them to really start to um, refine how they're gonna become a silver ambassador. Um, there's uh, building connections, um, and then there's a video um, explains the connections list. They're not calling it a Frank's list. They're calling it a connections list. I enjoy that. I enjoy that we're calling it a connections list. I like that she, there, you guys, I really want you to go through it because whoever this narrator is, she's great. I don't think she, I mean, she's obviously involved in Plexus, but she's not somebody I recognize, and she did a great job. She's very relatable. Um, so uh, the video explains the connections list. It encourages building the list and then calling the sponsor. Super critical for you guys to go through this so you know at what point that you can say, hey, you're about to build your connections list. Give me a call or shoot me a message when you're done. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it, okay? Might feel like it's more work, but it's not. We're ha putting some onus back on them and we're following up and we're guiding them to you know, their goals, okay? So obviously, once you check all those boxes, like I was saying, um, you have the ability to click view more, okay? So once they do all that, more is gonna come down. Okay, so then it expands. Another thing that I thought was freaking amazing was that the company is talking about how, how to build yourself, how to build your business. Um, you know, these are different areas where they're, where they're really saying, okay, how are you going to be more well-rounded as a leader? How are you going to be, or just a person, right? Some of these people that are going to be becoming silver, they don't know they're a leader yet, or they are a leader, but we're creating their identity as a leader in Plexus. Okay. So building yourself, understanding your purpose, otherwise known as figuring out your why. 
This is a this is an exercise they're going to go through in this module, guys, and I think it's freaking awesome. So it's developing and discovering your why, and then building your business. There's a video um, explaining this, but there is a video that talks about every single tool and resource that Plexus offers. Big deal. Success on demand, shareables, um, you know, uh, rank up roadmap, uh, the digital success kit. How many folks have said, well, I don't know how to use a digital success kit. I'm not sure where it is. I don't know. Takes care of it. Okay. I hope that you're understanding that the best thing that we can do with people is point their little booties in this direction. Okay. It's going to make our jobs a ton easier. All right, so another area under building yourself is uh, relationships. Uh, relationship building with activities. So there's a video. So something that I loved also inside of this was called 10 to connect. This narrator says you need to have 10 people in play at all times. I love that. I wrote that down. I was like, I'm doing that. Like, I think I do, right? Like you think you're like, oh, I think I have 10 people. But um, this is, again, a way that we're going back and we're getting better at our craft. So 10 to connect. She's saying 10 people at all times. Keep that list updated, right? You're going to be printing. They, she's going to encourage to print these worksheets, these 10 to connect worksheets, these connection worksheets. Um, Share the 10 to connect with sponsor. Here's another area where it's encouraging you to be involved as a sponsor. So guys, um, I'm going to keep this short. I don't want to, um, I obviously didn't want to walk you through the entire thing because we're grown ups and you're probably like, okay, well, maybe some of you are more kinesthetic. You want to get in and do it yourself. Okay. But what I love about this, especially at the silver level is it teaches a balanced business. It teaches how to start to make these connection lists. How many people do you talk to? They're like, well, I don't do sales. We don't want that. We want people who just have regular connections. And I loved, and I hope that you agree, that this lady does a great job of really making this relatable. I mean, this is anybody can do this. And I hope that you agree. Um, you know, and again, uh, follow along and figure out where as the, at the sponsor point, you need to be checking in, okay? I'm just asking you guys to do this one time. Everybody on this call is way past being a silver, okay? I want you to do this one time. I want you to take some really uh, comprehensive and robust notes. And I want you to understand how we can start to guide our people down this process. Now, I want you, let's have a real moment. Because I did this, I did this with Sarah and Jody, and I, I thought about all the people that I did not start this strong, okay? I move very fast. We all move fast. We think that we answer for them. How many, how many times do I yell at you guys not to answer for people? How many times do I do it? I do the same thing. <laughs> I'm a human just like you guys, right? We answer for people we think they wouldn't be interested. Something that I loved about what she says in this video is don't assume, don't answer for people, don't prejudge them. Guys, it falls right in line with the training that we do for our people when we're telling them to make that Frank's list, right? We're saying don't judge people. So it's reinforced by the company. So <clears throat> what well, I got validation from watching this, uh, but I also got a call to action for myself. And I hope that you guys do that same, that very same thing. So I want you to do that. Um, I want you to think about who uh, we can still rope in. Your happy wholesalers, okay? We're gonna have a process uh, tomorrow that is gonna be a little bit more, ro more robust. Um, but your happy wholesalers, going to them and saying, you know, hey, I know we briefly talked about getting your products paid for. I have got the perfect resource for you. And I wanna know if you're interested in uh, getting some company training uh, with how to do this. And you and I can check back in because there are places for me inside of this training. Um, is that something you're interested in at this time? Guys, anytime we have something new with the company, new, right, new to us, it's been here, new to us as a team, we're making this team wide. 
anytime we've got something new that falls into our lap, it's another reason to reach out. How many people do you have on your team that are just floundering a little bit, right? Maybe some of those people answered on that silver post, excuse me, that I did um, on our team page today. Um, you know, a lot of people not only get the best, they might not get the best of us, but they might not have been confident enough, right? Checking in with people every step of the, you know, every so often step of the way and saying, look, I've got this new uh, resource. Um, and maybe that's more comfortable for some people. You know, think about that too. Sometimes people might want to follow along with some teachings versus getting, you know, maybe in your face or what they feel like is, you know, in your face. It's easier to kind of be led, um, you know, with a program, so to speak. So I hope that that makes sense. All right. So um, does, I'm going to unmute. Does anyone have questions right now? And then I'm going to go into training how to do a welcome call. Anybody? No? Has anyone, go ahead, Diane. I was just going to ask, so I know this sounds like very dynamic, like a lot of details. So uh -huh. is this something that somebody could complete like in a night or is this something that they're going to maybe have to go back and spend some time doing? So for me, I think the most critical and a lot of the other support resources were, um, you know, belief in yourself, how to be a well-rounded person, all that kind of stuff. I think that the most critical are that uh, the 10 to connect, there's a worksheet. Um, uh, so keep an eye on that. If you guys like that, uh, printing the 10 to connect, printing the connections uh, worksheet um, and walking through those first couple, uh, you know, because really if, if we're having, uh, we, we're taking ourselves out of the equation. So I don't want you guys to think that that's happening. But what we are doing is going to be able to follow along with company-led, you know, uh, the worksheet and the process. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to um, sort of, uh, you know, uh, unveil to you kind of a, how the first 48 to, um, you know, 72 hours should look for somebody. Um, what that's going to look like, how their process should look, so that when somebody join, joins Kim Rainey's team and somebody joins Diane's team, it's going to be so similar. Now, granted, Kim is different than Diane. We're going to have different specific, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I just want everybody to have like step-by-step -step process to where if somebody says, I'm not being successful in my business, maybe on the team page. And we, I can say, because I know that everyone's going to be doing it, hey, so how far along in the module are you? Or, you know, does that make sense? So I think that, I think that, uh, you know, just having that, and there are going to be people that aren't going to go through the whole thing, right? But it's a resource. It's a way for us to direct them back. It doesn't take the responsibility off of us, but it allows us to um, depend a little bit on the company spent a lot of money refining this training. Okay. And um, I loved it. I mean, I mean, I loved it. Um, it doesn't take the place of a sponsor, but it is like, you know, team wide document that's going to be the same. Like I've got my, t you know, my tend to connect worksheet. I've got my this, I've got my that. So when team Renaud goes and does a event, you know, that you guys might do, you can say, everybody bring your tend to connect. We're going to do some fun stuff with that. You know, it's still yours, but it allows there to be some, um, across the board, um, uh, just, there's a word that I'm missing, but I just don't know what it is. Just, you know, Maybe you get it. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, so some dupl duplicity. Is that even a thing? Okay, whatever. Um, so, so that's that. Does yeah. that make sense? And, yes. Okay. Um, Diane, I yeah. did, the roadmap came out actually right when I like joined pretty much. So I've done some of it. I think what I'm going to do is go back through it though, obviously, and pick like, like Sadie said, like the two or three that really like for sure make sure you do these and then they can make their way through because I think looking at this is overwhelming like if I like when I first looked at it I was like holy cow that's a lot to do and I feel like but if you pick two or three four and be like you absolutely want to do these figure out how long it took you and maybe add five or ten minutes honestly um just because you know it kind of already and then you can say and then go back through and make your way through not on your you know 
you know, over the next few weeks, let's make it through a few of these modules. But if you pick those two or three for them to really do it, maybe the timeline Sadie's already made. But I've already done a lot of them. I thought they were um, useful as well. Oh, good. I'm cool. glad you threw that. And, you know, I, I like that too, you guys. I mean, we've got to make this work for us. Okay. We're, we're, I, I think you attract people that are like you. I mean, we're really like, we just do it right. We're just good at our jobs and, and that's what we do. But I think there is a, there is a piece of just having um, something to fall back on. Um, like Natalie said, let's, let's all just, and we're, we're in that thread. Let's communicate in there and say, look, I really like this. I really like that. I think that we should do this. This is a democracy. This is this. I need the. I need you guys to tell me what you think. Um, but I want us all to agree and love it. So that it is so across the board. Does that make sense? All right. Um, I'm gonna move into the welcome call really quickly. Hi, little buddy, Raven. Um, so I'm gonna move into a welcome call really quickly. Uh, many of you. Uh, this is, this is just a refresher. Um, I'd like to make some mental changes that you could possibly have to this to go along with everything that's gonna happen tomorrow. Um, but uh, what, uh, something that came of uh, the meet, like I, I talked about Sarah and Jody and I meeting, something that came of that was, you know, we kind of really all decided we hated the term welcome call. Um, I think, you know, maybe, maybe it was that we're, um, you know, it, it seems formal. Uh, maybe, I don't know, I don't know really what it was. Um, Jody, what, if you want to chime in, what do you think that you didn't like about the term welcome call? I know we all talked about it. I can't, she's not, are you going to get you? Okay, sorry, I done you. Um, I think we felt like it was maybe salesy. Mm -hmm. People expected it to be salesy. Yeah. You know, and when you, um, that's what we were kind of talking about is that when you um, ask people to get on a welcome call with your upline, that it just, uh, we, you know, people assume that that's going to be a sales pitch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's when we kind of, you know, mentioned, let's take it into a different direction. Yeah. No, yeah, that's, yeah, exactly. And, and so we, we loved the idea that since we are obviously not offering physical welcome packs anymore, which is uh, off putting for many. Um, and if you haven't come across this yet, yay! but if you have, um, and it's, it's bothersome to people on your team. And obviously it, it is bothersome to people, you know, on my team, you know, I've, I've been affected by this. I know that many of us have had folks that want something physical. Um, so another way for us to take this to, um, you know, to kind of turn lemons into lemonade with this is using that call with the sponsor as a personal coaching call and saying, you know, hey, you know, it's, I want to schedule a coaching call with, you know, with my friend Diane, or I want to schedule a coaching call with my friend Natalie. Um, and it's going to be five to 10 minutes. It's going to be, you know, really do the same thing that you would say about a welcome call. Um, but, you know, we are going to talk about products on that call. And, and I think that we always do when we're on, when we're on the, the quote welcome call. Um, the calling it a personal coaching call. Hey, this is just part of your ambassadorship. You get a coaching call with some, with, um, my friend who's been doing this for a long time, whatever that looks like, right? However you want to frame that up. Um, but this is the way that I would kind of, uh, walk into this. If I were, if I were, um, if I were you, so I would just do, um, obviously the person, the sponsor is going to introduce the upline. We're not saying this. I'm just saying this for you guys to have the same, to understand what we're saying. So um, the sponsor is going to do an introduction of the upline. Um, then, um, uh, then the we're going to ask them, you know, why they why they're interested in Plexus. You know, hey, you know, what interested you about Plexus? Um, let them answer, and then you uh, kind of ask about about. Um, you know, what products they started on. Here is a brief time where you're able to discuss those products, okay? Sponsor is in the driver's seat with the products. 
as the upline, it's okay to be like, oh, you're gonna love that. This is what I experienced with that. Here's how you would generally take it. Very, very high level, okay? Very high level. Now, obviously, the person involved in the coaching call is in the driver's seat. If they have more questions, they're gonna ask them at that time, okay? They obviously can ask more questions. We're not shutting them down or anything, okay? Um, so, um, this is also a really great time, I think, for the um, upline to talk about the importance of doing the Ray Cup roadmap, mm -hmm. you know, to enforce that, you know, third party validation, whatever it is that you need um, to just to talk about what a great opportunity that is to really get to dive in and see how important that um, this resource can be. Yes. Even if you, you know, because this rank up roadmap is our um this is your kit now mm -hmm. this is this is the kit you know so this is what we need to really as sponsors as your coaching call this is what we really need to really point people back to and make um it's all just about i think to me it's vocabulary we just our our wording just needs to change a little bit and we need to be excited and we need to just really emphasize how wonderful this back office is because honestly i have done the rank up to roadmap the silver and it is wonderful and the segments are very brief mm -hmm. i know it looks a little overwhelming but it's not and just your verbiage just use verbiage that you don't expect them to get them all done in one day just take one a day mm -hmm. one a day for a month and they'd have it done, no time at all, mm -hmm. you know? So it's all about verbiage. Yeah, and so I completely agree with what Jody's saying. Um, and I, um, in the coaching call, I basically, I thought that what we would say was, um, you know, so excuse me. So you're, in, you, they're introducing you, you're doing brief story on you. Um, at, then we ask about them. That's when they have the opportunity to talk about the products that they're, you know, that's when we dive into the products that they're taking as upline or good friend, you're giving excitement or, um, you know, brief guideline there. I know that we all have the capability of doing that. Yeah. Um, and then um, asking them too, if they had thought about getting their products for free. This is a nice time to say, have you ever thought about wanting to, you know, get your products paid for? Um, and they're going to answer. And if they say yes, then say, you know, um, then that's when, as the upline say, you know, you can get a verbal agreement, a very light verbal agreement to, for them to start the rank up roadmap and say, hey, I know that this is going to come tomorrow. Hey, I know that you've gotten, um, you know, a welcome letter um, from, you know, Mandy, and I know you're so excited. Um, in there is the digital success kit that's got some great information, but uh, there is a place in your back office as well that I can tell you how to get to that's also going to give you guidelines on how to quickly get your products paid for. Um, so, and we would tell them how to get there, obviously. You log into your back office, you go into that side area, there's a training area, you click right on the Rank Up Roadmap, and you're going to be a silver ambassador. Um, or you can say something, you don't want to say, your, you know, if they're kind of um, getting their products paid for because of the finance aspect, you can say, you know, the first step to getting your products paid for is what we call becoming a silver ambassador. And that's going to help you do that. You know what I mean? So I think you kind of have to tailor the person that you're talking to. Um, and, you know, you ask them, you know, when do you think you can start taking a look at this training? Because uh, Mandy is actually got some pieces of this, of, you know, of this process and, and you're going to be able to check back in with her. So I think it's a great time to kind of find out when you've got some free time. That's going to fall right in line with what they're going to get in training with setting their business, you know, how they're going to work their business. You know what I mean? So you kind of talking about that already. When do you think you're going to have time to do it? Oh, yeah, it's not too long at all. Here's how you get to it. You know, you can devote 15 minutes a day. You're going to get done in no time. You know, that kind of thing, guys. When we go through it, you're going to have the way that you're gonna, your verbiage is going to work through, you know, during this coaching call. Um, Again, you know, another thing is if this person is really gung-ho 
as the upline or the person performing the coaching call, you can say to them, um, look, you know, you sound really excited. Um, we've got a couple first uh, social media post ideas. Is that something that you'd be interested in? They're either going to say yes or no, and then you take it from there, right? We've got a ton of resources for that. We know how to do it. If they say, you know what, I don't really think I'm there, but I'd be happy to do the online training. When, when, like, right? We're not losing here because they're saying yes to something. Um, now, alternative is they say, you know what, I don't really want to get my products paid for at this time. Okay, no big deal. No big deal. I'm super excited for your results. Um, we have the opportunity to allow you to get your products paid for very quickly. Um, I'm so happy you've joined our team. And here is an area where you can get additional training because I know you've already got that, that welcome letter from, from sponsor. Here are some areas of additional training. You're going to have some links in there that it's going to be great for you. So it, as questions arise in your journey, please feel free to go back to that, uh, that welcome letter that you already received. So does that make sense, guys? As sponsor and upline, we have to have the confidence to talk about these things. And also as a sponsor, we have to be able to just kind of know what they're going to be getting with that rank up roadmap. But um, they're, just like Jody said, the videos are very fast. I mean, I think the longest one was the opening by Jen Hawkins. And that was it. I mean, you know, she just kind of went through her whole journey. Um, and it was kind of an exciting time, you know. Um, I want to mention back to you guys um, that the first video um, where it is, um, what if this can change everything? That's the one that you're going to see played at like all of the Plexus events that like every time I watch it, I get chills. So I'm a super dork, I know. But like, it's just very, very exciting. And you see faces that you've already seen. And so just kind of going through that training and, and recalling some favorite areas for you so that you can just talk, have talking points with them. Guys, you don't have to be a, a, a perfectionist at this training. You've gotten through silver, okay? But you're just coaching others to do it too so that they can coach others to do it. The idea is that as many people as we can get to do this and be excited about it and loop them in quickly, the quicker and the more viral that your teams are gonna grow, okay? You do the hard work now and you put in that time now to teach these processes and it's a machine that runs itself, okay? This was really spurred by my conversation with Jake and he basically said that the fastest growing team in Plexus right now is Brooke Hemingway and if you're on her team page, the only focus is silver. Not the only focus, but the most primary focus. And that's what we're doing in 2018. You're going to get reward, rewarded very handsomely to go silver and for you to coach people to go silver. That's what we're doing. Okay? That is what we need to celebrate. New people coming in, new people sharing plexus. Okay? We don't have a belief problem on this call. We know what we're doing. We know where we're going. We've got to put that fire into folks. And the way that we put that fire into folks is by getting them uh, sewn into training and sewn into team culture and excitement and posting and all those kind of things as quickly as possible. And I think that, you know what, I think that we've done a great job by and large, but I think that we can always do better. So do you guys, like, what do you guys think about what we talked about tonight? Does anyone have thoughts or feelings before we hop off? I'm going to stop recording really fast, Hang on.